the weird step. So it selects observation from SAS data sets that meet a particular condition. So here also we can write a condition. It will select only those observations where the condition is satisfied. So using the where statement may improve the efficiency of your SAS programs because SAS is not required to read all observations from the input data. So compared to if where statement is more efficient because it's not required to read all observations from the input data. And where statement can contain multiple where expressions that are joined by logical operators. Okay, we can use like if condition also to write the conditions, but it is more efficient than if. Just if you want to write only a condition, better to use where. Where statement. And see here some points. So these operators, between, not between, like, not like, contains and not contains. See, these operators can be used only with where statement. So these six operators we can use only with where statement. We cannot use with if statement, these operators. Next, if statement can be used only in the data step programs. Where statement can be used in both the data step programs and procedure step programs. In both the cases we can use where. Next where statement will take less execution time compared to if statement. This one will take less execution time compared to if, if statement. See the syntax here. A data, new data set name, set, source data set, where, here we can write the condition. If this condition is satisfied, then only it can process the observations from source data set to new data set. So we can discuss all examples what we discussed in here, here. We can use all those here also. So let me take the raw data. Okay. Equal operator. So I want to keep only department number 30 employees data in the new data set. So for that I have written like this. So here in the place of if we can use where. So see, it will create the new data set, only department number 30 employees data.
So instead of if here we can use where else to write the condition. So here it's a small letter, very very small letter with 10, 15 observations. But we are working on very big data sets with uh, lakhs or millions of records. Then you can find the execution time difference between the if and where. Compared to if, where is more efficient. So if you want to write just a condition, always prefer where there. So we got the same output here. Okay, if you want to keep only manage the data, so you can write like this. Next, not equal to operator. I want to keep all of the departments except 30. Next, uh, our operator. I want to keep clerk data, salesman data. So we can use here. See, clerk, salesman data. So we can write multiple where expressions by joint logical operators. Suppose I want to keep the salary range 1000 to 2000. We can write like this also. See, salary from 1000 to 2000. And here one more way also there, we can use here between operator. Next to between we can use here, say so if salary. Between 2000 and 3000. Okay, see here, to emphasize rating the salary 3000, observe. In salary, data, but it's showing those are so between means always these values and between these values. So like this, we can keep the range here. Okay, suppose I don't want this range except this remaining all other data I want. So in that case here, we can use not that. Except this range. If you observe here in selling, except 2000 to 3000 remaining data we have. So underscore means represents only one character. It could be anything. Percentage means n number of characters. Okay. See here one requirement. Suppose class data. This is the reference variable here, name. So these are the student names. Alfred, Alice. Now I want to create a new data set. There I want to keep only those students whose names are starting with J character. The starting character should be J. See that. So here after the J, four characters. Here after the J, after the J, three characters. Here after the J, five characters. So it doesn't matter for me. So, but the name should start with J character. That's all. Okay. So new data set, source data set. So where name like. So if you want to print the result data set, we can use prop names. Which is simple. Means the starting one should be J. After that it may have N number of characters. Maybe 3, 4, 5, 10, anything. Okay. See in all these names starting character J. This like a So based on end character. Suppose the name should end with E character. So then we can write like this. Beginning it may have a number of characters, but the ending character should be an E. So 
in all these names the ending character e we can write both those starting j ending e next based on second character suppose in the name if the second character is a i want to keep only those kind of names see this so my requirement is a should be in the second position so underscore because see underscore means what one character so first character could be anything a to z but the second one should be a after that it may have a number of characters this is the correct okay observe here a only in the second position and here also we can use not like operator just reverse so where name not like let's accept this it is showing the remaining names which are not started with j like operator next uh, contains operator contains or otherwise we can use just uh, question marks in them Okay, in the light we are specifying the position, either beginning or ending or middle or second like that. Contains, so anywhere. Suppose, where name contains. So if E is there, if E character anywhere in the name in the second first beginning middle in anywhere i want to keep those names so you can find e character either middle beginning ending anywhere here Observe. in all these names you can find e character so we can write a reverse also not contains okay i will do one thing here not this is the symbol contains this is the symbol so like this not contains means the name should not have e character in these names you cannot find e character observe so contains not contains you can write the word contains or simply we can use this one symbolize question answer. so like this these six operators can be used only with where between not between like not like contains not contains these six operators okay next uh, one procedure step any procedure okay for example so far we know only print procedure just I'm printing the data here. If you read it like this, it will print all observations from the class data. So, total 19 observations, so it is printing all observations. But now I want to print only A's group 14 students data. So if you're writing here if age is equals to 14 see it won't work it will show an error if statement is not used in the proper order like that because if statement is designed only for data step programs we can use this if statement only in the data step programs not in the process execute notebook see the log window so it's showing an error statement is not valid or it is used out of proper order. Okay, here I'm using now where okay. it will work. Now.
means while printing, while generating the listing report also I can apply the condition. So in these examples what we did, while creating the new data set I have applied the condition. So this is while printing. So that is called listing report. While printing also you can apply the condition. It is possible only with where. Not only in the print procedure, in any procedure we can use where statement. Even in the reporting process or in the stat process, anywhere we can use waste. Okay, if you're using if, showing an error like this. This is the concept of waste statement. 